Hi, good afternoon. My name is Thomas Giles, assistant to Angela. I was looking for Marcus. You found him. You see. Marcus, how are you? Good. How about yourself? How are you doing? I'm wonderful. Thank you very much for asking. I appreciate it. Listen, I'm calling today because my boss, Angela is on the website Sugarbook, and it seems that you are one of her sugar bears, maybe, possibly. Yeah, yeah. Me and Angela have been talking for a couple of days. Yes, I've seen the chats. Steamy stuff. Oh, you saw it? Okay. Yes, she forwarded it to I me. I didn't know if you did that kind of thing. Um, and she obviously has informed you that I might be calling to ask you a few more questions because, as you know, she's on the website Sugarbook, where you find right. people who are very affluent, who have a lot of money in their bank account, and they're looking for somebody to have a partnership with, whatever that may be, and you're obviously looking to date somebody who has a lot of commas and zeros in their bank account. Is that correct? That's, uh, that's right. Yeah. Yes, that's why you're on this website, to find rich, affluent women. That was sort of a redundant question, wasn't it? <laughs> that, that, yeah, it's, I mean, yeah. I guess so. But it's just, um, you know, it's hard out here. Naughty Thomas. That's what so, she would uh, say, naughty, and she'd smack people. me in my little mouth. Oh, okay. Do you like dogs? I love dogs. I used to train dogs. Wonderful, because she has four Pomeranians. Four? Yes, wow. no, but we do have an extra that. cage, and the right person that we find off of this website will get to live there. Okay, um, okay. that's kind of weird. That they would have an extra cage. Well, unfortunately, one of the doggies was a little bit old and had to go into greener pasture. That's why we have an extra cage, if that's what you're talking about being weird. So are you saying that if I were to date her, I would live in the cage? Rich people, am I right? <laughs> they are quirky. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. She would love to have you move in and live in that cage that's now vacant. Does that sound like something that you might want to do? Uh, I mean, it depends on like if the price is right. You, you know? would be fed three meals a day in wonderful gold doggy bowls, and we've already made up a collar with an M on it made out of diamonds. For Marcus. Oh, wow. You, you already made it. Yes, she really likes you. She took quite a liking to you, and so did I. Okay. Unfortunately, that okay. one did move on to greener pasture, and we'll miss him. We met him off the same website, actually. Okay, I'm confused. Because uh, now you're, you're talking about an actual dog, right? That died. And you're saying that the dog came from the same website that I found? Yes, on? yes. Her dating tastes are very particular. And yes, we met that little doggy on the same website that you're on to find rich people. He was a good pup. Okay, so it's sounding yeah. like the dog is a human. Yes. Okay. And it sounds like she's finding other humans to act like a dog. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Look, man, I do a lot of things, right? I do some weird things. Like, I'll put a collar on me. I'll put a leash on me. You know, I'll even s*** in the yard, <laughs> all right? But I ain't going to let her put me in no more cage and then die. Because that's what it sounds like you guys do. And I ain't down for that. So you can tell her I said no. And I'm not interested in talking to no creepy ass rich lady. Okay, well, how about you? With people mm. in dog suits in a cage until so they die. Well, how about your friend Sydney? Would you be willing to talk to her? Because she's on the phone right now, and this is a prank phone call. This is actually Jubal from the Jubal Show doing a phone prank on you. Your friend Sydney set you up. Sydney? Wow. <laughs> she said wow. that you've been trying okay. to find a rich lady to date and wanted us to mess with you. Wow. And so she puts my business out there like that. Okay. <laughs> All right, Sydney. <laughs> you got Sorry. me. That was good. That's good. You actually said you'd be willing to wear a dog collar and <laughs> on her lawn? <laughs> yes, girl, you know I want the money. <laughs>